People are really shocked at the Wheel of Fortune. Like, my god, my little symbol didn't come up on the wheel. What is this nonsense? It's almost like I'm just giving my money away for an incredibly tiny chance of winning more of it back. This is ridiculous. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Casino Resort Tower, where we've got a cafe to put together. So we finished researching the cafe last time, and I've moved the HR department up to here. Oh, I never did wallpaper for you guys. I'm so sorry. I'll be up there in a second, do some wallpaper. But I've got this space down here earmarked for a cafe. So, well, let me do the wallpaper first, and then we'll do the cafe, because i got to do the wallpaper. There you go, guys. Much, much better. Okay, one cafe. How big do I think this really needs to be? I'm going to put up a divider wall, say, here, for reasons that I can't adequately explain right now. And then, obviously, I've, I've got to fix the wallpaper, because that needs to happen there. Uh, what, what wallpaper was I doing in here? Is it this one? Uh, no, but that's actually pretty nice. I'm going to replace that with that. That looks a little more cafe-like. It's a little more intimate. Let me throw up, say, a couple of large windows while I've got the space to do that. So maybe one there and one way over here. And obviously curtains, because that's a really, really easy way of bumping up the level of this room. So curtains and curtains, those look delightful. Now, cafe. What, what happens here? So one cafe, please. Okay, I know you're missing items. What do you think you're missing? A coffee counter, a dish cleaning station, and some dining tables. So much like the bar. Not completely unlike the bar at all. And in fact, speaking of the cafe, I think we just finished our barista hiring campaign. We'll look at that in a sec. So coffee counter, how big are you? Pretty big. Pretty big. Let's put this sort of right in front of the window. That'll be nice. Put that right in front of the window like that. And then the dish cleaning station, just like the bar right downstairs that could go over there i'll put maybe a trash can or something over in that little spot there obviously you have no power no water i i understand everything that you're telling me right now but let's get some dining tables set up like this and you know what i should probably put in here a security camera because i bet one of the prestige issues here is going to be you know security leave a little space open for some decoratives somebody witnessed a crime oh god we're being sued again Okay, wow, you won $100,000. $100,000 for this. Okay, show me the details because I need to hire a lawyer. You're going to have to go away for right now. Slam this entire thing into pause mode here. So I could settle right now for $76,000. Well, we're not doing that. The truth must come out. We're going to court. I want to be very clear about that. We're going to court. Sage here looks good. She's got a plus 40% chance of winning this thing. What else have we got going on? Anyone else? You've got a plus 35. That's pretty good. Anyone else better than Sage at having a chance of winning this? No, Sage is pretty much my top choice right there. And not even too bad about settling. If I get a little nervous, I could settle. And that'll bring it down by over a third there. Okay, we're, we're hiring you. It costs a ridiculous amount of money to hire you. In fact, I should probably I should probably just settle because it cost me so much money to hire Sage. I could settle for 90%, but that's also going to cost me an absurd amount of money. Wow, lawyers are expensive, aren't they? Huh. All right, you're 29,000. You're like half the cost of Sage. But you've got a 30% chance of winning, which is not as bad. Not, not as worse, rather, than Sage. Anyway, you're basically kind of Sage-ish in your way. Anyone else who's even cheaper? I'm, I'm going for, for cost here. Uh, you're pretty pricey. Uh, you are moderately priced. Okay, bring me back to the discount lawyer here, because that's a smart way to assign a case. Let's let's just go with the cheapest lawyer here. Uh, Esmeralda. Uh, no, sorry, not Esmeralda. Francis. Discount lawyer. Off you go, kid. We're going to court. Okay, back to work here, back to work. You know what? While I've got this in pause, let me just hook up my utility lines here. So let's... Ah, I, I have that water pipe exactly where I don't need it. Okay, but you're probably going to need water, right? Yeah, you need water. So let's do water to here and then bring it down like this into here and then delete these two like that. Okay, back to electricity. Now I can run a line 
right through here. That'll be fine. And I bet you needed water too, don't you? Yeah, the dishwashing thing, but that's a nice easy one. That's up on top of the machine there. Okay, that should be all of your basic problems done. Oh, I'm going to need a waiter. Oh, need sewage. Of course you do. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, that makes sense. The water's got to go somewhere. Um, Vaguely manageable. Why does this pipe go nowhere at all? Oh, you're going to the dishwashing station down there. I see what you're doing. Okay, so let's bring you up here, and then we're going to need a bridge to go like that, and then back to your pipes. Uh, go, ah, it's exactly in the wrong spot. Okay, back to water. How am I going to... Okay, bring this from here over to here. Delete these like this. Back to sewage. Okay, sewage comes over here. And then down to here. I think that solves most of your problems, except for the fact nobody works here. That I can work with. Uh, currently out of hours. Yeah, I know. I haven't. No, nothing's happening right now. Nothing is happening right now. Let's get this place a little more decorated, if we could. Move yourself over here, and let's get some decorations. How about how about a statue here? You want a statue of a naked person? Everybody loves statues of naked people. Oh, and it even goes with the tables. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll put that in there, and then maybe, I don't know, like a plant or a painting. That would be nice. That's sort of the thing you'd see in a cafe. Uh, can't quite squeeze that one, and I need a slightly smaller painting in here. That could go there. I could save that space for maybe another table or something down the road. And actually, I can just kind of fill this place with paintings. Plenty of room for those. There we go. Two there. And what else did I say? Oh, trash can. Yeah, we got to have a trash can of some sort. Otherwise, people are going to get all fussy about not having anywhere to put their trash. So put a trash can over there. Okay. All of that basically works, except now there's no hours for this thing. Hopefully, I've got a decent amount of, uh, rather, uh, wait, not waiters. The what, Look at HR, Dave. Just look at HR. Just do the things that you need to do there. Three baristas. One of them is a morning person. That's great. And then two more that have, you know, uh, some traits. I want this place to be 24 hours. So let's get to policies, uh, cafe, 24 hours. I know we have a barista shortage. I'm going to work on that, like, literally right now, Chief. Chill. So Jadil here, you are a morning person. I would like to hire you. How do you feel about 250 and, like, 60 bucks? Because I misclicked, so you're getting an extra 10 bucks out of me. Great. You're on for the day shift. Take your break whenever, kid. I don't really care. And then who else can I get here? Tasteless and spoiled or quick and small bowel. Josiah, would you be interested in working the morning, or rather, excuse me, the evening shift, the overnight shift in the cafe, do some late night coffee, keep people up at night? Uh, you are going to accept that opportunity. You're on the night shift for that. Um, you kind of will figure it out, but let's just make sure you go to Cafe 1. And I'll keep that other one on deck, the other barista on deck. I might want to hire someone as just a floater, somebody to go in and cover breaks. I know he's not here yet. He's not here yet. Now, how are we doing on our prestige here? How is this looking? So, decoration, you like a jukebox. Okay, we don't actually do that yet. We don't do that. And that would just increase the speed of the baristas by 10%, which is nice, if not spectacular. I'm not, I'm not going to jump right on top of Jukebox to make that happen. That being said, I have a lot of research documents. Boy, I tell you what, you put that research office up and the documents just start flying in. Okay, what could I do with that? Because I think one of the things I've been really slacking on that people keep saying, you got to do this, man, is the events. So the competition events, that's 174. And the workshop events, that's 61. I am told I'm throwing away free money by not having... Well, comments just said events. They didn't actually specifically say which one. They might have, but I probably just glossed over it and watched TV instead. I'm just going to get the workshop one going right now. That still leaves me 132 documents. That ain't nothing. What could I... Where does the... Where does the jukebox live exactly? That's over in Recreation 2, which is only 49 documents, and I have a spare research spot. Let's go ahead and get that. That holds television, too, and I think I want a television in my CEO office, so that could kind of 
kill two birds with one stone. Now up here, I'm probably, I don't probably have enough bathrooms. Let's be clear. I probably do not have nearly enough bathrooms around here. I've got two down here and there's one somewhere else that I can't immediately lay my hands on. Is there a crime going on over here? Counterfeit chips. I've got like cameras and stuff in here over by our new Wheel of Fortune thing. You guys shouldn't be doing that. That's terrible. I know there's no dealer over here. What's my HR documents? Oh, wow. Flying in right now. 110. Do I have any dealers on deck? I do, actually. I've got a couple of you. Both of you are turtles. That's fine. I'm basically okay with that. What if I got one more for the day shift and one more for the night shift just to cover break periods? I don't, and specifically the night shift, because I'm pretty sure I don't have enough dealers at all for the night shift. So Dolce, I'm going to put you on the night shift. You just figure yourself out. All right, you go wherever it is you feel you should go. See if that helps me. It's not going to help matters right now because it's, you know, daytime, but it will help eventually. I could make this into a small bathroom. Let's do that. Let's let's make that into a just a small, you know, normal bathroom. Not going crazy with your... Uh, where, where is bathroom? Bathroom. Restroom? Is it restroom? Restroom. There we go. Nobody's resting in here. They're ripping their clothes off constantly. Before I even start, let's start to run sewage and water over here. Oh, sewage is going to be a pain in the neck. I don't have sewage anywhere near this place. Not even close. Uh, come out of all of this. I was thinking about making a separate, like, power utility room up on a higher floor just to make my life easier more than anything, withdrawing all of the pipes and wires and whatnot. Let me look at sewage again, because sewage is nowhere near where I need to be right now. So, sewage, yeah, it's way over here. Way over here. How many bridges would I need for this? So, if I did... No, turn that around the right way. Bridge... Bridge? Bridge, bridge, bridge. And then, well, okay, draw the line for a start. Just get this moving. Uh, no, from there, to, oh, I need another bridge. Okay, bridge there. And then there to there. There to there. No, there to there. Do the things that I'm asking you to do. That should bridge all the way through. That bridge to there. This bridge could go up here. And then one more of these. This is getting very complicated to pump the wastewater out of here. That's going to go... Where did I even put the bathroom at this point? I think it's there. I'm like 82% confident it's right in front of my face. Yeah, okay, it is. All right, let's start with the foundations here. Wallpaper, obviously. Uh, that's a terrible color. Let's put that in there. And obviously a huge window in the bathroom. Giant, giant window in the bathroom. So everybody can see exactly what you're doing at all times because I... I don't really respect any sort of privacy or modesty in my casino. It's not encouraged. People are ripping their clothes off constantly. And then obviously you need simple things like a toilet and a sink. So could I get maybe two, two toilets in here and a sink? That would be my ideal. So two of those and then one of those right in there. And I'd love to have just enough room to squeeze in a trash can. So yeah, let's get one of those right in there. I should probably hire some more janitors. Oh, and a light. Yeah, some kind of light up in here. So a ceiling lamp. Yeah, that could go right there. All right, let me conquer sewage and water first, because this is going to get fussy, isn't it? So water. All right, so water, water, water. Gotcha. Let's see if we... Well, hang on. Where is your sewage? That's below. Okay, that one I could act, actually should be fairly straightforward. There to there, there to there, and then right through there. Oh, I need another bridge, but that's okay. Bridging I can do. We've been bridging this whole thing. So turn it back around, one bridge, and then right from A to B. Okay, cool. Water. And one quick bridge, and we're in business. Okay, and then you need obviously power for that one light that I put up there. Uh, that's an easy one. Right, right to there. Boom, done. Okay, there's another bathroom going. I probably should... I should get some more janitors. That's probably pretty smart. How many do I have right now? So janitorial. Oh, actually, I've got quite a few. Some are on day shift. Some are on night shift. A couple more wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. Let's start a candidate search for a janitor. Don't want to get another one going on for literally anything else. 
I really don't need these researchers. I mean, I suppose, because the research costs get pretty big, I suppose I could just go with another research office or throw another desk up in here if I can find the room. How's the cafe going? Why is there nobody here? Oh, because the menu has no menu items. Of course it doesn't. Okay, all right, here we go. So what can we put in here? Cafe menu and then, I guess, hot drinks, right? Can you do an espresso in here? No, how do we, how do we make this happen? Main course, appetizers, snacks, desserts, tobacco. Okay, so this is the cafe menu. Right. How about just coffee? Can we put... How do we do this? Uh, first things first, Dave. Actually, unlock a menu item. There you go, kid. There you go. Okay, so Americano is going to go in here. Um, unlock many of these, actually. Let's put some black tea in there. And let's put the espresso in there. And the latte in there. Now, I could add some... Can I add some cold drinks? If I unlocked this, can I add, like, a bottle of water? No. No, I can't. Oh, wait. I thought I just unlock that. Did I not? Oh, I don't have the documents. Oh, wow. That hasn't happened in a little bit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just go with that. That's a perfectly good menu for a cafe, and then we could look at adding to it later. All right, does that solve your issues? It does. My barista's in here. You've got a little latte or something. Yeah, Madeline's down here. She's happy. She's having a whatever you're having there, a latte or something, Americano. It's basically that or tea or the other thing that I put in. We only got the four menu items. Are you enjoying the statue of the naked person? Yeah, I'm going to bring another dealer in for the night shift because, well, I just don't have enough dealers, frankly. Ah, I'm out of dealers. Okay, I could start another candidate search for that. That's fine. I'm, I'm a little more confident about the HR documents coming in now. So start that search. And then tomorrow we should be able to hire another couple of janitors and maybe one or two more dealers. We'll see how that goes. What could I be doing in the meantime? I got six hundred thousand dollars. I got I got six hundred thousand dollars in here. Oh, I know what I need. Waiters. I need waiters. There nobody's gonna clear the table around here. Ah, oh, dang. Um well, could I unlock a new thing here? No because I don't have enough of the accounting documents. All right, that's becoming more and more important. Opening of the game didn't really care about accounting documents. Now it's becoming a little more important. What if just for, because I think research and HR are covered, when I come into the work and come into work tomorrow, I'm going to go with not sell. No, I want to create accounting documents. I'm on HR right now. I'm going to spin myself over to accounting just to stockpile a few of those. Yeah, people are getting fussy in the cafe because all the tables are dirty. Yeah, that I'm not surprised. Could I cancel my dealer? Oh, hang on. I've already got a, a new thing ready to go here. Okay, so yeah, I want a a waiter. Where where do those guys live here? Somewhere. Waiter, waiter, bartender, barista, Waiter, there we go. Waiter candidates, please. And while I've got nothing else particularly going on right now, let's keep the elevator moving up. So low speed elevator shaft goes right there. And then the door for that right there. Okay. And obviously you're going to need to get wired up, but that should be a fairly simple one. Um, how am I doing on utilities? Okay. Internet needs to get bumped up soon. Power is fine now that we have the new medium sized generators down here. In fact, you know what? While we're here, let's just get rid of three of these because the medium ones do 60 and these ones do 20. So I can easily replace three of those with one of these and save a little bit of space in here. Have you wired yourself in immediately? You sure have. How can you be sad when you have a witch's hat on? Dawson, you're waiting for the cashier. Yeah, I just need a huge hiring binge. I get it, Dawson. I'm a little light on personnel right now. There's nobody doing the bingo table over here. Although the dice game over here is going well. Was that Sick Bow? Something like It's not a real game. People are just making this up. And the Wheel of Fortune seems to be going well. People are really shocked at the Wheel of Fortune. Like, my god, my little symbol didn't come up on the wheel. What is this nonsense? It's almost like I'm just giving my money away for an incredibly tiny chance of winning more of it back. This is ridiculous. So I've got an employee threatening to quit unless I give them $90,000. Are you insane, kid? 
Yeah, Shiloh, I'm a little tiny bit light on dealers right now, but I can find three more people to do your job fairly quickly, I might add. No, you're out of here, Chief. I'm not paying $90,000 to have one employee stick around. That's insane. Why would I do that? Okay, I'll get a waiter over here at some point, and I'll get anyone at all over here. Menu ingredients are out of stock. Of course they are. Why would, why would they not be? Yeah, coffee beans. I probably should have thought of that one. Let's get, I don't know, like 45 up in here. And then tea powder. That sounds disgusting. But hey, what do I know about tea? Very little, actually. Uh, anything else that we're light on? We could use some more candy bars in here. So let's get 40 of those. Uh, so, and we don't do cigars yet. So we don't really need those. And actually, the witch's hats... Are a little low yeah let's get that up to 15. i should have ample storage there should be i've got two big storage rooms going on here although this one's looking pretty full how's the one downstairs looking um not actually that much room you know what let's clone a few shelves here and make sure we got plenty of room for everything my janitor campaign just ended and i'm also seeing i've got other dealers on deck i actually have quite a few of them so, Allie, are you interested in working for me? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put one on the day shift, one on the night shift, just to keep them coming in more than anything. Everybody can cover everybody's breaks. It's all going to be 100% fine. Uh, looks good. Great. So once you do the day shift and you figure out where to go, again, just, just cover somebody's break. And uh, Mia, how would you like to work for me? I love what you're doing with the glasses. So Mia, you're going to go on the night shift. Okay, that'll help a little bit. Now, more importantly, I've got some extra janitors on here. An evening person. Great. So I'm going to hire you and try to obviously put you on the night shift. I'm just arbitrarily clicking things, Madeline, and hoping that you like the numbers that I click on. Did you like the numbers that I clicked on? Way too low. All right, I do really want an evening person. That usually means over 305, and my uh, waiter search just ended too. 305 and 50 bucks, kid. What do you think? You accept the offer. Great. You're on the night shift. You go wherever you feel. And Mateo here, you can go on the day, wait, day shift? Yeah, day shift. Did I say day shift? Was the other one the night shift? I don't remember. That took me like 30 seconds to get him hired. More importantly, let's get some waiters on board here. Where's the rest of my waiters? You only found, do you only find one waiter? One waiter. Oh, there they are. They're down here. Okay, you're a morning person, Armani. Let's get you for the day shift. And I'd specifically like to make sure that you are in the cafe, please. So go ahead and work there. Okay, that's my day shift covered. Uh, speedy and a slow walker. That will actually kind of balance itself out. Let's see if we can... It perfectly balances itself out. So uh, almost. You're 5% slower. So you work faster, but you move slower. It's it's all fine, Abel. You know what? Whatever you're into, you're into, kid. Um, I need you for the night shift for the cafe. So way too low. Okay, so you want 305, and you are going on to cafe one. Okay, so that's some people hired. I've got a pool of dealers that I could draw on. I almost want to just keep the campaigns going just to stockpile the pool. Uh, but research is done. Neat. Okay, let me deal with the important things first, which is obviously a jukebox. Because I'm pretty sure we've got one of those now. So where does where does jukebox live these days? Jukebox. Okay. So where could I... Can I get this anywhere in here? Probably not. Unless I can squeeze it over here. I can squeeze it over here. Perfect. Okay, yes, I know it has no power. I'm going to learn to cope with that information. I'll look at that. Perfect. This is just so easy. There we go. Okay, are you psyched now? Yeah, you're up to Prestige 3, which, again, is not, not the biggest thing in the world. My, my baristas are working slightly faster, uh, which is fine, I guess, if not completely spectacular and exciting. Um, now, let's talk about this like convention room thing here, whatever this is. So that's a, a workshop room. Okay, a workshop room. Well, what does that do for a living? Workshop, workshop, storage, workshop. Okay, what do we got here? All I need is a whiteboard and any any kind of table. Huh. Room for brief intensive educational program for a group of people that focuses on techniques and skills in a particular field. 
Can I, okay, back off of that for a second. Let me actually go to events. Is this something I have to set up? Start an event. Okay. What does this do? Oh, goodness. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Book club. Eh, maybe. Maybe. So we could have a social meeting, a business meeting, or a tasting meeting, and book club, news reading, movie screening, or sports game scre streaming, screening. Okay, we're going to watch some sports. Okay, so that went between streaming, screaming, and screening. We're going to watch some sports. The bar's having an issue. Fine. I've got other things to be doing here. So if we just create event plan. No, 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 no. Cancel that. No, no. I, I don't want to do that yet. No, 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 no. Meeting events. And then start an event. So what I'm what I'm kind of seeing, this is a meeting event. How about a workshop event? Casino workshop. There's no available workshop event plans. Ah, I don't have enough documents to do this. Oh, this has gotten vaguely complicated. Um, activist Anna, what do you want? Have five sofas in an employee break rooms. Um, maybe. Can I can I give you a loose maybe on that one, Anna? How many sofas do I have now? This is the janitorial room. It's the nicest janitorial room in existence. So down in my employee break room one, I've got two sofas. I could easily squeeze in three. I could also just make another employee break room, maybe up here. Anna? Anna? I will take your challenge, Anna. Because I'm pretty close to doing that already. Okay. Okay. Let's think for a moment here. And by we, I mean me. What if we start? I don't know what kind of room I'm going to need for this event. That event thing seems very, very complicated to me. But then, you know, look at the channel you're on right now. Uh, put some stairs up here. Okay. I know it's right through my office, but I'll learn to cope. That's one thing done. I'm going to make one of these rooms into an employee break room. How about up here? That seems like a, a good spot for that. So one, one employee break room, please. All right, start everything out with some beautiful wallpaper. It's actually rather ugly, but some beautiful wallpaper and some large windows. In fact, you know what? Before you even go any further, just put some curtains up there. It's just so easy to boost the room with a couple of curtains. That one and that one. Okay, back to items. Let's start with a lamp more than it. Actually, you know what? I always do ceiling lamps. Let's do a floor lamp. Let's do, say, that floor lamp could go right here. That should be pretty close to power with the uh, office room right there. And then you want two sofas. Well, technically you want five, but I'm going to put two, like, up here, and then maybe one back downstairs, and that should complete her issue very, very nicely. Is this my employee break room? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Let's tuck another sofa right by the window. There we go. Oh, wow. She is maxed out with us. I have no idea what that means, but I guess she's pretty darn happy with things. And it won't hurt us to have another employee break room anyway. So what else do you need up here? You need a snack vending machine and a dining table. Okay. Uh, put a dining table there. And can I maybe, can't quite squeeze another one in. Uh, let's get a snack vending machine. We don't really, it's not a big break room. There's only so much I can do here. All right, start to wire things up. And I think I'll just leave it like that. There we go. It's just a small break room, really just to conquer that little mini quest there. And you know what? The employees won't have to walk as far if they're up on the top floor here. They can just get right into an employee break room and hang out there. That's cool. All right, this is going to get built at some point. I'm, I'm just kind of focused on the whole how how do we do these events? There are no ongoing events. I know that. I've got that. So I'm just going to kind of really look at this for a bit. The workshop event. What kind of documents are those again? Those are these ones, the, the accounting ones. Yeah. Yeah, those are becoming more important. That is for sure. Uh, I haven't done competition events yet. What if we just tried to do something simple like a book club? I'd need bookshelves, sofas, and armchairs. Now, I assume every time I do this, I'd have to, like, change the furniture. Newspaper racks, I don't have that yet. And also, nobody, nobody does newspapers anymore. I'm pretty sure they're extinct. So if I completed 
book club event one, I would get 36 like points towards my casino, my two and a half star mediocre casino, and 11K. It's going to cost me $2,000 and a bunch of documents to set it up, but that's pretty easy profit margin there. But they need a lot of stuff. They need two bookshelves, five armchairs, a lounge. I don't even have a, a lounge. How... How does this work? You know what? I don't even know why I built that floor. I've got perfectly good dead space right here. So I just want to mess around with this. So what was that again? That was uh, some sort of workshop thing or something. Uh, yeah, there we go. No, no. Workshop room. I, I see it. Stop scanning by it. Workshop room. Okay, there we go. Yay. What do I need in here? What do you think I need in there? Again, the whiteboard and, and tables and stuff. Okay. I'm going to vaguely just see what happens here. What if we put in like a roulette table? Uh, it's way down here. Move. Okay, you, you got to move over there. You got to come over here. And let's just try and put in like a roulette table right here. And then maybe a, a dice game table next to it. So uh, could, could everybody just go away? Thank you. Uh, right in there. Let's just squeeze that in there. Okay, you, I know you have no games assigned right now. And you are a workshop room. Okay, you're not a casino. You're a workshop room. Alrighty. Well, let's conquer easy stuff first. Let's just do that to that. Okay, there we go. Everything's fine now. Let's do the next easy thing. Let's assign some games. So a dice game. We've only got the, the two there, right? Uh, you could be chuckle luck for reasons that are not adequately explained. And you also need to be a roulette game. You can be European roulette because everyone everyone loves European roulette. There's no lights in here, Dave. You put no lights in here. Let me see if I can get a couple of dealers in too. Right now, I'm just going to think about a day shift for this. I'm not going to get stressed about doing a all day, all night, 24 hours a day event thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm doing this completely wrong, as usual. But I'm pretty sure I'm doing this completely wrong. So what if you were on the day shift for... Is it in here? Is, does it even exist in here? It doesn't exist in here. How do I make this happen? How do I make this happen? Um, sure, yeah, you, you, can, you can get hired. That's fine. I need more dealers anyway. So you have no dealer. I understand that. I would like to assign you a dealer. Users, workers... Is it because you're not, like, active yet? Is that is that the problem? I don't even see event room in here. This is why I think I'm doing this horribly, horribly wrong. So, workshop room one. Check that one more time. So, no workshop in here. Okay. Do I, therefore, somewhat logically have to set up an event to get this even working at all? So a meeting event, again, book clubs, workshop event, casino workshop. Okay, I want to do that. Create a plan, and then I assume when that times out, something different will happen than what's happening right now. There's some indecent exposure going on over in the cafe, but that sounds normal. I, I think that's fine. People are just exposing themselves while they have a quick latte. I did want, as I recall... I think I wanted a television. Yeah, I do. I want an office with a television, and we should be able to do that now. So one television, please. Uh, tele, te, te, okay, I'm in the wrong thing. Right there in front of you, Dave. Right there in front of you. Can I squeeze this in somewhere? Uh, yeah, tuck that guy right over there. Wire you up, and that will be one more of my fussy little demands dealt with. Oh, and there's actual television, too. There's actually a show. There's like a news show going on there. Oh no, the presenters are saying, oh, I'm so awesome working with you. Oh, it's so awesome working with you too. They secretly hate each other. And then the weatherman comes in and he's like, I should totally be running this place. And they're like, no, we're way better than you and we're prettier too. In the meantime, those research documents are flying in right now. Flying in. Okay, let me do something boring because that's a sensible use of those points. Those little documents. May as well do something very, very boring. So what's my worst one? Internet is pretty bad right now. So let's get Internet 2. We can get some slightly better servers going on, and that will help our capacity. I still have 178 documents left. Okay, you know what I've been sitting on for a while? Slot Games 2. It's only 49 documents. 
Well, well, that's perfect. I've still got 132 left. And then we can get some different slot machines in. And I could put those, at least a couple of them, up in the new casino area here. What are you doing? Credit card fraud. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of somebody else's problem. Oh, hang on. Are we done with the event? Start start an event. Okay. Um, the, the, this one? Casino workshop. Yup. Oh, do I not have... No, I have enough documents to do this. Oh, I don't have enough documents to start it, though. All right, so... Workshop sub workshop subject would be card games. We need the card games table. Oh, so it was silly to put in the roulette table. And then I need three card game tables? Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Not in that space, anyway. Not in that space at all. What I could do, though... If I clone this entire area and move it upstairs, I could squeeze in one more card table and delete the roulette table. Okay, I'm going to do that. So delete all of these because I need card games, not dice games. Um, I'm going to need to get rid of, well, they actually technically haven't built it yet, but I do need to get rid of that divider wall right there. Uh, and then keep, yeah, keep the workshop room. Okay. Wallpaper, obviously. And then sell off everything else down here. You know what? Actually, another light would not be bad up in this neck of the woods. So put that guy, clone it, and put it up there. Move the whiteboard as far over as we can. See if we can just really cram three card tables in here. I'm not 100% sure how, but I'm going to try and make it happen. I could replace that light with a ceiling light that would save me a little bit of floor space also going to need another cctv transmitter up here too to cover that camera so one transmitter like here that'll work and then oh, how did i do this is it that to that or that to that it's that one to that one okay perfect all right uh back to work here i need to cram three card tables in here i think I'm not actually 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure from reading that I need to cram three card tables in here. And I'm not even going to bother decorating this nonsense until I see that this works at all. I'm, I'm not even going to sweat that. We'll just kind of see how all of this is going to go. All this can get sold right off. I don't need any of that. I'll figure out what this room is going to be in time. Okay, so what was I what was I waiting on there? I needed uh, some sort of documents. And we're also out of dishwasher detergent. Will this nightmare never end? All right, so I need 24 of the accounting documents. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I will come up with that at some point. I've got the regular office workers. They'll get some of those done. And I'll come in in the morning and get some other ones done. And you need games associated with this. Let's, uh, what, what did we do? Card tables, right? So we could have Baccarat and Pygao and 30 and 40. What's my research at? 139. What would it cost me to unlock another slot? Yeah, documents I don't have. But the next thing I should unlock is clearly the accounting specialist. Because that's becoming more and more critical. Marketing, that'll be the last one to go. But the finance office, yeah, the uh, the accounting office here. Maybe even just a small one would do me for right now. I've got a lot of small dead space rooms over here that I could work with. Uh, where are we at on literally anything at all right now? How are we doing on those accounting documents? 12, and not that. I needed, again, one more time. How many to do this? Uh, not this, this, and this. 24. Okay, and I'm already up to 14. Probably by the end of the day, we're going to be in good shape. There we go. Just clicked over to 24 on that. So can I theoretically start my event? Okay. I've got three card games. I've got whiteboard. I've got a workshop room, 12 people. How do you do dealers for this? Are they just going to kind of figure out that they need to be over there? Hopefully. All right. We've started an event. I, I guess... I don't know, should I have done this at 7.30 at night? Probably like no one's going to come because it's late at night. Yeah, you guys desperately need dealers. Can I, can, I re, can, I, can I renegotiate some people here? So show me my employees. Give me any dealer right now who's on the night shift. So only night shift and only, where's your little dealer thing here? Dealers. All right. So 
Damien, can I make you go to the workshop room now? No. How does this work? Oh, hang on, assign a room. Well, the workshop room, then. Three available working card game tables are needed. Yes, I am aware of that. I don't know how to make my employees do that. Let's try that again. Maybe now that the thing is active, I can put people in there. No, no, not, not what you're doing right now. So these are my dealers. Uh, you're on the night shift. Are you now allowed to go to the workshop room? Hmm. How do I make a dealer go over there? I'm just, you know, just for doing it and nothing else, I'm going to hire whoever I've got left in the pool for a dealer. All right, Xander, you're in for the night shift. Can I put you in the workshop room from here? No, I cannot. No, I cannot. Okay, uh, well, welcome aboard, Xander. Do I have anyone else? Nope, that was my last dealer. I've got documents. I could start another hiring campaign. I don't want to show the assigned room. I just want the assigned room to work. Who are you? Why are you coming over here? Oh, you're a dealer. Okay, so you have auto-assigned yourself. All right, great. Well, you know what? In that case, I will start another campaign just for dealers. Just why not? I need them, and I'm making the documents. That is fine. Uh, anything else I kind of need right now? I got extra waiters, janitors, baristas in here. Okay, so that's two out of three right there. Two out of three... I just need one more dealer to pop his head up here, and we're in a good shape. Obviously, nobody's actually attending this thing. Are you a dealer? Do you work for me? Yeah, you're a dealer. Okay. So you are auto-assigning yourselves. Great. Good. Perfect. So the requirements in and of themselves have been technically met. Now we're just waiting for anyone to show up. Of course, that also blocked out the elevator over here. I mean, maybe I can move some things around later. But we'll, we'll kind of cross that bridge when we come to it. I gotta always start a new elevator right over here. Yeah, are you... Hang on. Slow, slow your roll there, Chief Xander. Oh, you work for me. You're a dealer. Okay, so you probably... Oh, that's Xander. I just hired you. Yeah, I did hire you to do this, but other people have taken your place. Nobody's showing up for this. Should I have advertised this in some way? Hey, we're having a card, a dice, uh, whatever it is we're doing here, a card game thing. Uh, no, we're, we're just out. Okay, we're writing things down about cards. Probably like how to cheat or something or, or not. Are you, are you attending? Are, are, you, are you actually having... Okay, you're attending. Great. We're, oh, you're a workshop instructor. Okay. Does, does anyone... Is anyone coming to my event? And my dealer's going on break because of course he is. I think you guys are, you guys are in here. You're attending an event. Okay, great. I need like another 11 of you. So there's two out of 12 people here right now. I guess the workshop instructor counts as a person. But people are starting to file in. People are coming in. Is there like a time on this? Like how, how do we know when we're done? Because I get like 72K if I can get through this. And it seems fairly straightforward to put together now that I'm, well, that I basically keyboard mashed my way through it. Also in all of that, we did actually get the better slot machine. So while I'm just kind of keeping half an eye on what's going on down there. Why don't we get some more slot machines in here, obviously. So gambling and slot machines, yup. And whichever, that one looks fine. I right, maybe get two in here, like one and come on, come on, ah, darn it. Okay, is there anywhere else I can put, you know what, I've got a trash can over there. They're both full though, should get more janitors. Um, okay, we made like 50K, things are things are happening around here and, and pay the people, move that. Actually, could I just get this over here? Could we pop this guy in here? Yes, we can. Uh, people want a dartboard. Don't we all, Chief? Do I look like I have time for that kind of nonsense? So let's get some power in here. Uh, that'll go right to there. That'll go right to there. Now, we should obviously have different games now. So slot games. Okay, what? What? How, what why? Are, oh, there we go. There, just scroll down, Dave. Just scroll down. So Oceans of Gold. Royal Castle, sure. How about one of each? One of you, and one of you. One of you. One of you. What, what one of you? Okay, one, 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 of, there we go. Uh, wait, is my event over? Did we win? Did we succeed at that? Uh, apparently, 100%, complete the event. Great, I got 82K for that. Perfect, that was relatively easy after keyboarding keyboard mashing my way through it 
we seem to have accomplished an event. It seems like I need a lot of event rooms to cover all of those events, or have to completely redecorate every time we have a different event, or just keep having the card event over and over and over again. But that's probably an excellent place to call it on Casino Resort Tower. Again, a, another day of good progress here. The cafe is up and running. It's filthy, but it's up and running. Got a new employee break room, brand new bathroom, and we kind of vaguely got, well, all right, the beginnings of a handle on events. I, I need to explore this more because it seems more complicated than I think it is, but we have successfully done one event. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Casino Resort Tower. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet, but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs>